Hey David, my name's Chris, and I wanted to reply to your question. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting the lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. How does that set of verses? impact your life. David, great idea to ask for the video responses. Did you know that salt is actually required by the human body? Salt is sodium chloride and it is actually needed by the body for the cells to communicate with each other and for things to go on inside the body. Now if salt is needed by the human body and we're applying salt in reference to us as human beings, are we needed in the world? Do people need us around? The other thing about salt is it adds flavor, well rather I should say it enhances the flavor of the food that you add it to. Here's the question, as a Christian, am I adding any flavor to the world around me? And am I doing anything to make the world around me better? Am I, am I doing anything to uh, make the society that I live in better? Those are the questions. You know, the ancient Romans actually knew that salt was required by our diet, our bodies. We needed, we had to have it. So much to the point that they would pay their soldiers in salt. And, uh, you know, this is where the saying, man's not worth his salt. You know, if you don't work to a certain level, then you're not worth the salt. You're being paid. So they knew it even back then. The salt has to be a part of the body. And therefore, as a seasoning, as an additive, it has to be there. Hey, thanks for inviting people to uh, respond in video. And uh, you have a great day.